or research on you. You're like a government. <laughs> Here we are today at West Brom's training ground, and I'm ready to meet Slava and Bilic. How are you, Slava? Lovely to meet you. Good. Listen, thanks for letting us no, in. No. I want to start with you, personally. I've, it's, it's amazing, you know? Let's get to, to you as a person. I want everybody to realise, you know, what you've been through. You know, you actually grew up in a in a war in your own country. We had a good life, to be fair. Yeah. But we wanted to have our own country. And when it all started in the 90s with Russia, with the USSR and everything, my hometown, it, it was a war atmosphere. Yeah. A lot of young people were, were in the army. Uh, their families were, it was psychologically bad. But the war was basically 30, 40, 50 miles from split. It yeah. was, thank God, it was only in split in my hometown for a couple of weeks. We didn't join the army, but the president said that we have to be like ambassadors of, of Croatia. So uh, we played the league and then 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 the most of us who, who could, we went abroad. Mm -hmm. in, I went to Germany, a lot of guys went to Italy. The, then England, I'm talking about 1992, three, four. Then England was not so open for foreign players. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then and then we were there like ambassadors of Croatia and yeah. all that. And then we start to play for a national team. And then it is funny how how mighty sport is, or through us playing well in '96 uh, with Davor Shuker, with mm. Boban, with, oh. with 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 all of them. So. Mm, we were kind of proud that we can represent our country that was struggling and that was new country and that came out of the war. But your, if you your ask father, me, was I struggling basically no. during the war? No. But your father was very much. Yes, he was. To he, yes, Croatia. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yes, he was in those those years, like seventy mm. one. And, was he your football influence? Did he make you? My dad, we are, we are kind of a, you know, in, in socialism, you didn't have, uh, there were no rich people. No. There were no poor people, there were no rich people. Mm. Uh, but we were rich in education. We had a good life, but my father is a doctor of uh, economic science. So we are, we are in education, we are quite rich. That's why me and my brother were always good in school. Right. And that's why I finished University of Law because yeah. of that, you know, you grew up like school is number one, school is number one. Mm. But saying that, my father was mad football. Yeah. And if you, I found it after, you know, if you had asked him, to choose between me being a, let's say, professor in, in the university mm -hmm. or, or football player, he would go for football 100%. <laughs> he was like, he was proper football man and he is the one that I used to watch. So did you really always want to come to England? It was, my father had installed that to me, that, that out, of, uh, out of our country, it's English football. That, but England was, uh, England was only after you know, 96. When it got a big, big, big like boom of foreign. So when, when you look at that, when you look back, you, you came to West Ham, yeah. Yeah. And then you sort of nurtured a young Ferdinand. Yes. Yeah. Alongside you, you know, and then yeah. you also had a Frank Lampard. Did, yes. did you realise at that time that those two could be sort of stars for England as they as they became, or Rio, obviously. Rio, you need a couple of seconds to realize, you know, what? Yeah. you need five minutes to realize this is going to be next whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know, with Frank, it wasn't that obvious. Mm. And if you put on top of that, that he was son of. Yeah. How bad, how bad was... You know what I mean? That was, that made it, that's why I, I respect and praise and love him more than uh, normal. Because mm. what he has been, been what he went through, you know. Mm. Nobody was saying that, you know. No, nobody no. was saying, but you could feel it in a dressing room. So even your time, even your time at West Ham, yeah, as a manager, you know, you had you had Poyo, you had. Oh, I thought he was a magnificent player. Didn't he you? was. He, oh, he's you had Anatovic, You know, he can. Oh. No, no, no. We had a good team. We had a good players. We had a good team, and I enjoyed it. 
that yeah. must have been a special time as well for you. It was, to be fair, yeah. and uh, especially to come back in a club that, uh, it's not a cliche that you played for. It was unbelievable, and that season we played really good football. It was Pacific's special season because it was the last season at the uh, Upton Park yeah. and all that. And uh, yeah, we done well, especially against the big guns. Yeah. We beat all of them and yeah. uh, we broke, I don't know, seven or eight. You records. beat them well as well. You we played beat so them well and we played well and it was really, and the fans enjoyed it, we enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we were that close mm. to go to Champions League, basically. Yeah. We lost our home game to Swansea. Uh, and 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 that was it basically. But 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 uh, it was a great year. It was a great year, and I was very 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 proud of uh, what we achieved. Before the West Ham, you, you you've managed your international Country. yeah under twenty ones and you mean and over the, over eight yeah. years and and the main ones. So I've always been fascinated. That the difference where you, you only have them for a certain period of time and they go back to their clubs and then you have a, a club situation where you're every day. W which do you prefer? If you are full of energy, if you want a full, full-time job, then, mm. then it's club football. Mm. You, have more, you, have more, you have more possibilities to, as you said, to influence your team. Mm -hmm. First, you, you are not limited. You know, in Croatia, as a national team coach, let's say you want to play with a tall defense and you, mm. wanna, you want your fullbacks to be tall or whatever, to cover the far post good or to be very physical. Mm. Uh, but then if there's no left-footed Croatian defender good enough, yeah. then, yeah. then you can't go on a transfer market, you mm. know, yeah. and get him. It's game over, you know. <laughs> <You're back. laughs> so that's, that's one You'll thing. have to wait till mom and dad create one. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be in a job long enough. <laughs> when we won the bronze medal, uh, in uh, France, World Cup 98, mm. then the people were saying, that's it, that's it, because we were raised football mm. in Yugoslavia, that was a yeah. big league, 20 mm. million people country, and every good league and everything. And then, and then after that, when we became only four and a half million country, Croatia mm. and everything, then our league is nowhere near what Yugoslavian league used to be, with Red Star, with Partizan, with mm. a lot of other clubs. And then the people were really questioning, not even questioning, they were saying like football experts. Yeah. And I thought the same. You know, we, we all thought the same, like this is it. Croatia will struggle mm. to produce so many good footballers yeah. to remain there, like we want the bronze medal, all right? Hence, we are unbelievable. We are better and better. <laughs> our midfield now, mm. look, our midfield, look our midfield now. And Modric. I, rem I remember it only too painfully, you know? You know. Ouch. World Cup. We have Real Madrid. Mm. Yeah. We have Barcelona. Rakitic. Rakitic yeah. Mandzukic. Yeah. Mandzukic. Yeah. Don't mention him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a player. Yeah. yeah. Well, what the warrior. You you would love him. Mm. You would love him. He, what a, he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. Now you've experienced Premier League. A lot of people might have felt, oh, he's going to wait. He'll you'll get another job in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. You're in the Championship. Yeah. What was it about West Brom? I liked it since we played here. I had good memories because we we beat them once here in that first season mm -hmm. with with West Ham. I remember the stadium. Mm -hmm. I I know it's a good city. I know it's a old fashioned in a good way familiar mm -hmm. club like like yeah. like a family club. Yeah. And I like those values. And uh, they called me, mm -hmm. and we made a deal basically after a couple of hours and all that. And uh, I didn't know it's going to be like this, but mm. I, 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 I had a feeling. Yeah. I had a feeling, and it is exactly what I, what I imagined it and what I wanted it to be. No, I like this kind of a training ground. Mm -hmm. I like this kind that it smells of, of grass. Yeah. It's not five-star hotel, no, it's but work. it's clean. You have everything. It's work. So it seems a really good fit. You've started really well. We started well. We started well. Uh, we have a good team. It was Did you just question. touch wood then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't touch your head, does it? Yeah, but touch wood, you touch, <laughs> touch your head. It's, it's, it's we do it that way, or I do it that way. We started well. Uh, there was a question mark, big question mark, because we 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 changed or lost whatever mm. eleven players. Yeah, some of them were very important, 
some of them, not only Jay Rodriguez and Dwight Gale, who scored like the goals, got like 46 mm. goals between them from 82, and it's hard to replace that. Uh, but the other guys also, like Harvey Barnes, like Holgate, like yeah. uh, many, many Your players, games, like yeah. Morrison and all them. Uh, so, but but to be fair, the club and us, we were really good in 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 keeping the players that we wanted to keep, and adding some some fresh, fresh, uh, young and fresh energy players. Mm. Uh, the plan of, of the board of the club was to make a squad or a team a bit younger, mm -hmm. and to try to go back in two or three years, if possible, straight away. Of course, yeah. but. Yeah. But it wasn't like imperative, and we done a good job. The club has done a good job in a transfer window. The new players they clicked straight away. Yeah, we wanted to get the players who are who are really good on the board, but also reliable and responsible to mm. to play in both ways in both parts of the game, and uh, we want to be as as young as possible, as British as possible, but also to have a bit of quality yeah. and to have a good bunch of players. When I was at West Ham, I watched champion. Of, yeah. of course, we all watch championship. You know, you can't you you, you yeah. don't ignore football, not to mention yeah. championship. But you are not totally into it, you know. Yeah. In a transfer window, we watch some players from the league, you know, and then Brentford. Okay, who is this guy? Then my system, who is this guy? Sawyer, okay, Sawyer, Sawyer, Sawyer. West Brom guy, he's from here, you know. For him to be for that many years there, it's a, it's a sin. It is a sin. It's a sin. It was in Warsaw before that. I know, I know. But so <laughs> I'm saying, like, why I say that I will never be happy with him? Of course I'm happy with him, the way he plays and all that. Mm. But he can be, he can be. Well, you did well. You'd have stopped Aston Villa signing him because yes. Dean Smith knew about it. So. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but top, top, top player. Yeah. Top player that you have to push to be even better because his potential, his potential is unbelievable. I think so, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think the difference, and I'm going to say it to you, that in Jake Livermore this year, been a, exactly, he's good enough to play for England. He has played for England. And you seem to have revitalized him. Jake is, Jake is in his best stage. People like Jake, like Hal Robson, they're in their best age, to be fair. Kieran Gibbs, yeah. they're experienced, but they, are, they are just they have to, you know, you can't get in a comfort zone. If you're mm. too much in a comfort zone, then it's yeah. no good in whatever. They're mm. not good in marriage, they're not good in uh, whatever business That's you do. True. No, I mean... <laughs> I better go. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you got to be on, you got to be on, in overdrive, yeah, yeah. you know, balance, of course, but you gotta be there, and and and, of course, the results are helping. Yeah, yeah. And, but do they, do they look fit? And do they, for example, you mentioned mm. Jake. He looks, mm. he looks. I watched many games from the last season, and I know, and I spoke with both of the managers mm. last season. Is it Jimmy or Darren? Mm. Yes. They are so enthusiastic, so I so make no mistake. They try to do it last yeah. season. They are not boring people, you know. Yeah. They are on the contrary. You enjoy yeah. talk football to them. Yeah. But but uh, I see players like Jake in a better shape this season, and he is, as you said, I agree with you. He's our captain. I mean, on a pitch, and he's doing he's doing so far a top 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 job. Have you a message for for anybody? that was oh, looking at the championship to just let them know how tough it is every week. It's tough. I love it. Championship suddenly began in the last five, five, six, seven, eight years. Mm. It became really good football league mm. and good to watch and good to be part of. Well, I'm and glad. it kept that difficultness. For me, it's the real England. Yes. It's, this is us. For me, this is an unbelievable league. As my friend said, uh, he had a great saying about difference between the championship and Premier League. He told me championship is Rocky part one. Yeah. You know, yeah. Premier League is Rocky five. Yeah. There is yeah. everything but box. Listen, thank you so much. Thank you. And I wish you everything you deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.